guys, David here, RF Shop. It's been a long time since I made a video. Uh, I guess part of the reason of that is it was winter, so a lot of delays and stuff that just couldn't get to it. Um, the other big thing is there was a lot of positive changes that's happening. I mean, always just trying to make products more simplified and actually get a, a product and a solution in place that is a simple solution that makes life easier for you as the end user. In this case, uh, very excited that we are starting to show pointing antennas on our website. Now, pointing antennas is a South African antenna manufacturer. Um, of course, surprise, surprise, I do know them. I'm very familiar with them from my days back in South Africa still. Uh, they are very successful in Europe and in the US. They also have a presence here in Australia, and obviously that's gonna grow more, and um, we'd, we'd be one of the guys that have the antennas on our website as well. So I'm going to do an unboxing exercise here. This is literally unboxing. So I've got our first stock today. So pretty excited here. So I'll just move the camera down so you can see this. So the unboxing would be me kind of pretty excited as an engineer to show as I cut my first box open to have a look at what's on the inside. I've seen the videos online. I know what's in there because obviously we ordered them based on the idea that we know what we want. But I um, wanted to share my experience on my first box of our own stock um, to, with you. So let's just get it down to the actual box. All right, so that it is, woo-ha, not that much, but um, I mean, every little bit helps, so let's go for this. Now, while I'm busy, I have these antennas, I have a plan, so I have a Huawei modem at home and I'm going to go to a black spot and I know a few black spots around because um, I've mean, been living here for 10 years now so we know where there is not much to do. Um, we'll get this tested in the next two weeks or so. Um, there's the box so obviously it's pretty colorful. I personally love orange so um, that's not why I like pointing but I certainly um, do admire the color choice. <laughs> I mean, as one does, you have to have some things, some joy in life. There's the antenna. So, introducing the pointing uh, 5G Ready V3 Xbol 2. So, not a wrong way around. So, if I read this correctly, Xbol 2 V3, and it says uh, 698 to 3.8 gig high gain cross polarized LTE mono antenna. What do I have in there? Um, apart from me being an en excited engineer now. Um, they have 5 meter cable that comes with it, so there's 5 meters cable and the antenna itself plus the logo in the middle. Um, just to be clear, the cable is um, terminated into an SMA. There is an N-type version as well, so this is more the out-of-the-box solution that every consumer can use when they um, take it home and just put it on a Huawei or a D-Link or some other LTE router that they have at home. This thing would connect just like that. Um, now the cable, as it says here, pointing 195, so it's a 195 low loss cable. Um, obviously you need to be careful um, that you don't use bad cables and if it goes longer we, um, we select different cable types to make sure that it still works properly. Also considering that it's 5G, that means that you need to be more careful with the, um, the new frequencies at 3.7 gig. Um, but there you go, that's it, we have stock. So um, obviously we already had a few on back order so that's going out as soon as we can on Monday. Um, but then we'll get new ones in and um, have them ready and give us a call, give us any questions that you have. Now, that's on this antenna and that's kind of the end of the video that I wanted to share. So, job done, happiness. But, uh, we also have these ones. Uh, there's my head, I can't see my head. So, this is the LPDA. So, it's a white band block periodic antenna. Same deal again. It's not a Yagi. I personally don't specifically... I mean, Yagis are great antennas. But this is a block periodic antenna, which means it would operate in the whole frequency band. So it doesn't just give you a low band or something else, it gives you the full frequency band. The um, pointing antenna design is um, it's quite rugged, it's very rugged actually. So it, it lasts quite long, it's not... I want to show you this, but it's just so much tap, so give me a second. That's why this is a, a realistic unboxing exercise. Um, <laughs> I want to show you the raw joy of an engineer getting his first stock. So, what do I have? Um, apart from a beautiful orange box, again, 
which I love. Yeah. Cut it open nicely here. Um, now, if you were to get a, a box that's open beforehand, this would be the one because I'm obviously I'm opening it up to show you. Um, then you, know, you can show your friends afterwards. Say, hey, that video, that's my antenna. That's the one on my roof. How cool would that be? Not really. We'll use this one in the demos. There we go. So what you have is a antenna like that. That is a LPDA, which means it doesn't have a single resonator at the end and then all the others just forcing the resonance into the forward direction. This one has um, resonance all along. So the cable goes in, you'll see it actually launches in the front. And then as the, um, the signal then propagates to the rear where it is resonant, that specific frequency will produce the energy and it radiates out. So this antenna as it is would work in the high frequencies for LTE and in the low frequencies anywhere. So that's why I prefer to recommend this antenna when people want high gain directional antennas because it, it doesn't matter where you are. You could be in the middle of the city or you could out, out in the middle of the, um, the outback. This antenna would, would serve a purpose for you. Um, it's um, cast aluminium. So it's um, there's no joints in there. This, um, these elements are all part of the whole structure. So it's, um, I mean, it's really solid. And that's um, one of many reasons why I love this antenna. It comes with a cable, short pigtail in this case, because it um, gives you the full flexibility through RF shop to um, buy other cables of whatever length. Um, of course, when the length is longer than um, 10 meters or so, we definitely want to go for a better type of cable or lower loss cable just to make sure it all works well. So there you go. Unboxing, uh, pointing, literally unboxing from the shipping box through to the minor box and then just showing the antenna that we have on stock. It's on our website. Have a look and um, give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.